So what am I going to report on today? Aquatica San Diego Park is being rebuilt in another section of California. Meanwhile, Sesame Place San Diego is arriving for the 2021 season. And we've got all the details. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Aaron Chowner, you are watching Coaster Chow, Doncaster born, but built for theme park news. Welcome to this theme park newsroom update from Sesame Place San Diego. Now we do have some more details, we've got the full revealing of the park uh, and sort of seeing what attractions we can maybe spot uh, with the uh, concept images which we're going to show on your screen as we're going through this. Uh, so full credit to, uh, to the images goes to whoever owns them um, and also of course we'll be sharing some statements, some official statements from the people behind the project and what they're thinking about the project after it was announced um, and also we're going to share some details on Aquatica San Diego because it's been built on that old site. Where is Aquatica going? Well, we're going to tell you uh, in a little bit. So let's go through some details of the brand new Sesame Place San Diego opening for the 2021 season. So, Aquatica San Diego will be rebuilt in Chula Vista, California, and the old sites from the old park, the current park, are actually going to remain on site for the brand new Sesame Place San Diego. Steve Youngwood, President and Media and Education, uh, President of Media and Education and Chief Operating Officer of Sesame Workshop. The opening of Sesame Place San Diego will provide additional guests with this unique opportunity. For us, the park is an opportunity to reach even more families and advance our educational mission. We celebrate the 50th anniversary of Sesame Street. This is a fitting, beautiful news. Sesame Place enables children and families to get close to and learn from their beloved characters. Now, we do have the official concept images, which are already on your screen. Uh, now, one major thing to uh, sort of note this is a certified autism center. Uh, now this is like the sister park in Philadelphia or near Philadelphia and it was the first theme park in the world to bear this name. It will open as a certified autism center, the park, which is particularly suitable for autistic people. So for this, the employees are trained to the special requirements of autistic people and sensory explanations on the website make it easier for parents to plan activities that meet the specific needs of their child. Designated relaxation rooms with adjustable lighting and comfortable seating are integrated into the design of the park. So as you, as you, if you didn't know already, this is being built on the grounds of the Aquatica San Diego Water Park and the new theme park will not only benefit the local community, but also create a tourist attraction in the Western United States. Now of course, a bit of history for you. SeaWorld has been the exclusive theme park partner of the Sesame Workshop in the US for around 40 years, almost 40 years in fact. Uh, now, of course, San Diego opened the Sesame Street Bay of Play area back in 2008. And, of course, recently, SeaWorld Orlando in Florida launched their own Sesame Street Land with six themed rides, over 30 innovative educational games and the park's first parade. And, of course, San Antonio also has its own Sesame Street Land. So, looking at the concept images then, we can see already a family coaster. We can see some of the slides from the old Aquatica theme park. Those are going to remain. We can see some children's rides like a Samba Balloon uh, in there as well. Uh, there's other concept images which are either on your screen or have just gone past your screen. Uh, for a lolly swing, uh, like a, like a, that's like a little family wave swinger. And of course a crazy bus type ride with the SS Ducky on them as well. So of course you can also see a carousel. Uh, you've got the famous big bird stand next to a famous Sesame Street uh, logo sign and of course on another concept image uh, right at the end here on your screen right about now Fan Dabby Dozzy, look at that site, it's such a magical site for families right outside the entrance, characters are there and the Sesame Place logo stands high on its perch at the entrance of the theme park so there we go, so that's some statements, some details of the brand new Sesame Place San Diego opening for the 2021 season. I am really excited for this park. I think it's going to be an absolutely perfect park for California. It's the perfect family park. California is one of those parks where it's known for uh, the Disneyland Park, Disney California Adventure. Uh, so it's got some family parks, 
But outside of Disney, it's mainly the thrill parks in California that catch the people's eye. Six Flags Magic Mountain and Six Flags Discovery Kingdom being one of the two main California parks. SeaWorld San Diego, obviously, uh, is another one. Uh, but of course, in terms of family parks, uh, this, this is going to be a big step forward. And of course, it's nice to see a new Sesame Place park. Now, of course, we do have the old Sesame Place, uh, which is near Philadelphia. Of course, that's the one that uh, recently got a couple of years ago, the Gravity Group Family Wooden Roller Coaster, Oscar's Wacky Taxi. Now, we didn't see that on the concept images for this new San Diego Sesame Place, but this says to me that in the future, we could see an Oscar's Wacky Taxi uh, for the San Diego Park. Maybe not the same theme as Oscar's Wacky Taxi, but I'd like to see a different character brought in. But don't do like a parody on the name, like Elmo's Fun Bus or whatever it is. I don't want to see like a play on that. I want to see a different kind of name, a different kind of character. If they're going to do a gravity group for that park as well. Uh, but from the concept images, it seems like the coaster is going to be one of those uh, Ziera Force family coaster models. Uh, pretty much uh, like uh, the other SeaWorld parks. You had Shamu Express at SeaWorld San Antonio. At first we thought that was closing, then it just got rethemed with the whole Sesame Street land because of course uh, one of their sister SeaWorld parks rethemed theirs. Uh, of course SeaWorld San uh, Orlando releasing their Sesame Street land. So maybe some attractions that are in that area that isn't in this new park. Maybe again that's to do with future investments. So, uh, and of course, with it being the old Aquatica Park, I'd lo I love seeing that the well, I love that they're going to keep uh, some of the old slides. Not all of them, but some of them are going to remain. Uh, it seems like most of them from the concept art. It seems like it's mainly water park with some theme park rides. So, again, I like that concept because it means that children can have fun in the water and on dry land. So I really like that whole blend of water park and theme park and it also pays homage to the former Aquatica water park over in San Diego, California. So overall then, I'm really excited for this park. I hope you guys are really excited as well. Make sure you lend your comments down below uh, and thoughts and theories about future investments. What are your thoughts on this new park? I really want to hear your thoughts on this guys because I think this is going to be a great family park. And can I just say by the way, I'm not autistic. But my god, I love the fact they're going to put this certified autism centre in the park, or as part of the park. I really like they're taking care of the guests, um, and they're really paying close attention to the needs of the guests with autism. So I really like that they're doing that. They're doing it with the park near pa uh, Philadelphia. They already did that with that Sesame Place Park. So I love the fact they're going to implement this straight away uh, when the park opens for the 2021 season. Now we don't have a specific opening date, we just know it's going to open for the 2021 season. So put your theories in as to when you think it's going to open, is it going to be spring, is it going to be summer? Are they going to try and get it open for Christmas, try and get those Christmas decorations to help celebrate the opening of the park? I'd like to hear your thoughts and theories on all this guys, on the right, on Christmas. I want to hear your thoughts on future investments, I want to hear all your thoughts in the comments down below. While you're down there, make sure you give that video a like if you've loved this update. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Get your shout outs as well in the comments down below and I'll reply to your comments and give you a shout out in the next recorded video. And for now guys, my name is Coast Chow, keep living the coast of life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day my friends.